Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Dell Venue 8 Pro, so stay tuned. I don't normally do electronic videos on Tuesday. I usually do those on Friday, but there's a deal. <laughs> and I don't want you to miss out if you're interested in this product. Until, let me see, the special buy expires on 01-25-2004, that's the 25th. You can get this Dell Venue 8 Pro, that's the one with Windows, full Windows 8.1 for, wait for it, $229.29 at Staples. Now normally this will sell for on average $250, $260. When this thing first came out it used to be about $330. So the price is absolutely incredible. The only time it's been lower than $229 was uh, a Black Friday sale direct from Dell. This is an, an absolute incredible buy. Before we start uh, getting in close here and looking at this, this thing is an 8 inch IPS HD touch display and it's a, uh, a, a special active synaptic type of pad that you can use a pen, an, an active pen with it, which we'll talk about in a second because there are some issues with it. But the display is absolutely incredible. It's, uh, it feels really good in the hand. Again, we'll take a look. It comes with, again, full Windows 8.1. It also comes with Office, Home, and Student, which means you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And, you know, just, just, <laughs> just Windows and Office alone together cost more than what you're paying for for this device. So if you were to go out and buy those separate. And uh, it does mirror cast. That, that's a Windows 8.1 thing anyway. So let's uh, take a close look. Here is what you get with the package. You get a 2 amp power supply with the Dell logo on it a 3 foot power cable and the actual tablet itself. Let's go ahead and go around this really quick. The back has a rubberized um, with circular texture. You can see all these little circles right there. Really nice, very grippy. I love this texture. You have the Dell logo right there. You have a 5 megapixel camera on the back. Okay, on the bottom you have a speaker grill. On the right side you have the volume rocker, a microphone, and a door to get to the micro SD slot. You have a power button, the um, micro USB port for charging, and here you have the Windows button. Now I know most Windows tablets have the little Windows logo that you hit like down in the middle right here somewhere or on the bottom. Dell does not. It has a uh, separate button right there. Now this right here does not come with it. This is just a stand that I had picked up from Cyber Acoustics. So let's go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to hit the power button hold it for a second or two. And, huh. and it says that I locked it. <laughs> so I guess it was in standby. There we go. Alright, so there is our tablet with the familiar Metro interface. Now, this has the Atom Bay Trail Z3740D processor, so it is very, very speedy, very fast. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the desktop really quick. There you go. Now, this comes with uh, 2 gigabytes of memory, 32 gigs of storage, which is, uh, it's not, so it's not S. SD solid state storage is more of the uh, MMC type, but it's still very, very fast. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Bluetooth mouse here so I can bring up a couple of things. I'm going to open up the task manager and we can take a look at some performance here. You can see the CPU right there. Whoops. Pretty cool. And I'm going to open up the resource monitor. And we could take a look at the CPU there. So you can see the overall 
right here and then you can see the four cores one two three four cores that the Bay Trail Atom processor has now this also has integrated Intel HD graphics software has Windows 8.1 and it has Office Home and Student and just to show you that I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Windows button and I'm gonna scroll over here and you can see you have full blown Office right here Oops, let me close that up. Let me close that up. And there we go. We have Word starting up. Not the speediest, but it will get the job done. But you're not going to be writing novels on this thing. This is like a quick and dirty, maybe edit kind of job. I wouldn't want to do anything full scale on this. And I definitely want, wouldn't want to use the keyboard, the on-screen keyboard with this. I would recommend if you are going to do any kind of significant typing whatsoever, get yourself some sort of USB keyboard also or, or not USB but I mean Bluetooth keyboard I also am using a Bluetooth mouse which um, it's you know I mentioned USB this thing does not have any USB ports it also does not have any HDMI ports and that's a problem if you want to put a big uh, screen on this thing there's no way to wire this to let's say an HDMI cable somehow to an external monitor it doesn't have EGA out it doesn't have DVI out the only way you could do it is using some sort of mirror cast, you know, the wireless um, WIDI or, or WIDI type of uh, wireless way, or again referred to as mirror cast, out to a mirror cast compliant receiver, such as, uh, you know, certain Blu rays have that, certain uh, smart TVs might have that, things like that. I think uh, Netgear has one called Push to TV, a dedicated box for mirror cast that you could use also. As far as radio communications, this guy has wireless and, and as I mentioned just now, Bluetooth. Uh, I mean, again, you have the micro SD card. Uh, you do have that 5 megapixel camera on the back. You also have a 1.2 megapixel camera right about there. Uh, battery life, you could expect something around... Uh, I don't know, they claim almost 10 hours, I would expect about 8, but again, it, it depends on how you use this, and your your mileage will vary, whoops, depending on, you know, how, how you use this. If you're going to be streaming uh, video constantly, you're probably going to see probably about 6-7 hours of use out of it. As far as weight, this thing is 0.87 pounds, very, very light weight. I mean, it's just incredible, it's a really a joy to hold. Let me see, I don't think I locked the, um, there we go, <laughs> I don't think I locked the, bring up the charms, that's what Windows 8, you bring up the charms by doing that, you go to the window screen right there, really nice, very smooth, let's see, uh, we could bring up, here we go, these are, this is like the people app, I went ahead and brought in, oh that's the store app, I'm sorry, Let's uh, let's try that button out. Here's the Windows button up here. So you press it. It should bring it to the Metro interface. Where's people? Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know. <laughs> let's do sports news. It's funny sports. Um, going to the Super Bowl, Denver and uh, Washington. Isn't that the two states that have legalized marijuana? I think the fans are going to have a really good time for the uh, Super Bowl coming up. What do you think? Anyway, look at that. Really nice. All your typical Metro apps right there. Uh, by the way, don't check your email. That was my computer that was ringing over there. Speaking of ringing, the sound quality in this guy is also pretty incredible. Let's uh, go back. As a matter of fact, let me sit this down here like this. I want to go ahead and play a YouTube video for you. I went ahead and downloaded Chrome and put that on here. Again, this is uh, full-blown Windows 8.1, so you can run... Uh, dot exe executables on this really uh, cool so let's see I am going to open up my YouTube channel here and let's see I'm gonna go to my subscriptions and look for someone's video so I could uh, maybe give somebody a shout out here so we'll go to subscriptions. And who do we got here? 
Ah, uh, Mobile Tech Review. Um, that's where I first learned about this guy, Mobile Tech Review. Really good uh, channel, but she doesn't need any promoting. <laughs> um, looking, 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 looking. There's Cutlery Lover. Cutlery Lover has the flu today. Poor Jeff. Jeff, I hope you feel better. Here we go, Jano Zero. Coffee Chat. Who does my money support and a roommate? Huh. All right, so we'll go ahead and let this load. And let's crank this sucker up. I'm going to go ahead and go uh, full screen here. And you can see the video is nice and smooth. <laughs> you should uh, check out Jano Zero, by the way. Whoops, I didn't want to send that off to my um, to my Chrome TV real quick. <laughs> Let's see what else do we have here. I want to get something that that didn't really show off how loud this thing can get because. Believe you me, this sucker gets loud. Here's another really good channel, new, relatively new channel to the gun community. It is Ricky Steele. Ricky Steele, and I'll go ahead and put the link to this also below. We'll go ahead and go full screen. So you can hear that sound. Pretty rich sound. It's a lot of sound to come out of that little grill there. A lot. <laughs> it's a really, really good sound quality coming out of this little guy. Also, the display itself. This thing is not even set to, this is like half bright, this, this sucker, you can crank this thing up and it's, and it's like 400 something, I don't know what they rate these things at, but they're rated, it's rated at 400 L something. I'm sorry, I'm not too technical when it comes to those kind of things. Um, you could probably find it on the interweb, but I'm telling you guys and gals, if you're looking for a inexpensive 8 inch full-blown windows, not that RT surface crap that can't load executables. This is absolutely incredible. Now let's talk about some of the downsides to this really quick, because there are um, some sacrifices that Dell made to get this out of the box this cheap. Um, for one, like I mentioned, this thing does not have any kind of video out, so if you want to do it, you're going to need to use a wireless method such as Miracast, which is okay. You could also use Chromecast and Chromecast the uh, Chrome browser tab, and they have an experimental uh, full screen kind of thing, but it's laggy, doesn't work uh, too well. Another downside to this is the, the touch screen. This touch screen actually it works well as far as your finger is concerned, it works well if you use a uh, capacitive touch screen. But what doesn't work is the special stylus that's made for this. You could buy it. I didn't buy it. It uh, it has some issues. You know, it has this weird hovering. When you hover over it, you don't even have to touch the screen. And it starts doing things, and it's sort of hit and miss. There is a BIOS update and firmware update and software updates that sort of try to fix that problem. I don't know if they have it totally solved yet. Another issue is this only has 32 gigs of storage. They do make a 64 gig version. That 64 gig version probably cost about, I don't know, $50 more probably around. So you can see I haven't installed anything extra onto this machine except for Chrome. And I have 10.2 gigs left. So I have 23.2 gigs basically is what it came with plus chrome already taken up so i have over half the uh hard drive the 
the solid state type of drive it has in it already taken up out of the box. So that is a definite shortcoming if you're someone who likes to load a bunch of apps on there. But if you're happy with, you know, just office and browsing and email checking and stuff like that, and if you do your storage in the cloud, whether it be with Google or with uh, Microsoft's products such as SkyDrive, you know, work in the cloud, then this is really a great, great, great deal that I didn't want any of you to miss. So really good deal. There was one other shortcoming that I uh, failed to mention in the up and close and that is the cable. The cable is only three feet long. That's too short. <laughs> you need something like if you have it up on your table and you need to like bring it up from the back and it needs to come forward and you know it also has to get to a power uh, strip somewhere or an outlet this is not going to cut it. So, and another thing, these particular tablets, and this is not the only one, um, charge with these little, little 2 amp chargers. And it's pushing the limit. It really is pushing the limit. So they don't charge extremely fast. And if you put a long, 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 long cheap cable, it is going to charge even slower. I beat it. Don't. Take my word for it, it will charge slower. There are some products like the Asus T100TA. If you put a long crappy cable on it, it will not charge at all. <laughs> it will not. So that that's the other thing that I have a gripe about. So overall, I give this a 8 out of 10. And I highly, highly recommend it if you get it at that 229 price right now at Staples. Now, what other issue I had, I had a return one, my first one that I had picked up, what happened was I got it up, got it all set up, and you know how long it takes to set these things up, so you have a lot of time invested in the thing, and then all of a sudden Bluetooth died. <laughs> so, um, brought it back, Staples, uh, Office Depot, Best Buy, wherever you uh, do eventually get this, they will you know, as long as it's within the first couple of uh, days or weeks or whatever, they will exchange it with no problem. So make sure that you test out everything, all the different uh, communications, make sure it talks wirelessly and Bluetooth, and make sure the cameras work, and everything works real good when you first get it. Because usually, um, these type of devices and computers and everything will either have the problem right up front out of the box within the first couple of days, or way on down the road so it's like right up front or later on down the road when something finally dies like a fan stops spinning or a hard drive crashes or something like that so make sure everything works i'm very happy with this this tablet is just absolutely incredible this was partially an impulse buy but um i wanted something that uh you know, I could just relax with and sit down. I could go ahead and Chromecast something up. Like this this computer right here has Chromecast already on it. So let's say I wanted to uh, throw a video at it. Again, let's go to YouTube. Uh, I, I want to show this off because I'm really excited about it. I really think this is a great deal. So we'll go ahead and start Chrome. All right, and this time I'm going to use this little stylus. This is a very slim stylus by Targus, and it, it sort of works okay because uh, if you got big fat fingers, forget it. On a little tablet like this, when you go to a desktop app, <laughs> you better have a mouse and keyboard because it's way too small to work with. By the way, you know this display is is nice. Nice, crisp, bright, very good at all angles. It's uh, plus you have I have a big light coming in, and these IPS displays are incredible. By the way, this is not a uh, a I think it's like a 720p is what you're going to get out of it. You're not going to get 1080 because you know the display is not a 1080p display. Um, I could probably tell you what it is. I think it's like a seven or 800, 12 something by 800. Um, I'm freaking turning the wrong thing here. Um, sorry I was not prepared, um, because I was rushing to get this video out. I wanted to, uh, 
let you know about this deal as soon as possible. So uh, yeah, it's a 1280 by 800 IPS display. So like I was saying, I was rushing to get this out the door. So if anybody wants one of these, they could catch the deal. So I'm going to go ahead again and go to YouTube's. Go to YouTube because I want to push a video to Chrome to Chromecast. By the way, you can get Chromecast for about thirty thirty five dollars. It's these dongles right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, do my my trailer. Where is it? I'm going to throw my trailer up here. Let's see. Okay, that's on here. Sorry. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it to my Chromecast by hitting the button. And you know, you could throw Netflix at this, so anything that, you know, Chromecast could work with. Also, if you have Miracast, that'll work. It's all coming from here. Okay, trying to freeze it there. It, I'll tell you that when you're when you're using these type of apps, it's or programs, it's hard to uh, work this. But when you're using the uh, the Metro apps, which I, I really hated when Windows 8.1 first came out. When you're using these, these are made to work with a tablet. These Metro apps, so they're they're easier to work with, and you don't need the stylus and you know they're they're made to work with your fingers the touch screen and the on-screen keyboard so they definitely serve a purpose now real quick since i have this on the on the table here the cyber acoustics uh screen is like i don't know 30 30 bucks i think is what i paid for it it has a weight on the bottom and you could put any tablet sitting on here and this whole thing moves up and down really good deal i mean i i bought this because you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have this tablet sitting here in front of my screen and I wanted something really nice to hold it at the right angle and uh, I, I recommend this too. I almost considered doing a video just dedicated to this. It even has a little channel here to run the cable in if you want the cable coming up in the front. Really good deal. Okay, definitely much longer video than I anticipated. It's hard to do one of these very quickly, but again get it while they're hot and hopefully you know even if you miss this deal I suspect that this particular tablet will continue to see um, some really good deals It has the brand new Bay Trail processor it definitely gets the job done while conserving power because I mean th this little guy will last eight hours with doing just normal stuff on it that, that's an incredible amount of uh, power and power saving or power life and and it's windows <laughs> full blown I, I'm just blown away all right I, I used to hate Dell too but um it came out with a product I like so I'm gonna have to start looking at Dell again all right well thank you very much for joining me here at the gear obsession channel I really appreciate every friend viewer subscriber and you and again I apologize for the very long video but again I want you to see this product Go ahead and do your homework, go online, read the reviews and everything, don't take my word for it. And uh, again, you can return it if you don't like it, but I think if you're in the market for, you know, what are you doing, this, it's it. Okay, take care.